In the timeless tapestry of television history, there exists a gem that shimmers with the effervescent glow of nostalgia, a charming relic known as the Honeymooners. Imagine, if you will, a flickering black and white screen, a cozy living room adorned with classic 1950s decor, and the uproarious laughter of a captivated audience. This, my dear reader, is the enchanting landscape that welcomed you to your first encounter with The Honeymooners, a series that etched itself into the annals of entertainment with the finesse of a master artist. As you embarked on this televisual journey, perhaps you found yourself transported to a world that was both delightfully familiar and intriguingly new. The show's heartwarming characters, Ralph Cramden and Ed Norton, danced across the screen like old friends, their camaraderie and comic chemistry sparking a symphony of hearty chuckles. And oh, the moments that ensued. Who could forget Ralph's boisterous declarations of his grand schemes, forever teetering on the precipice of success and absurdity? Or the endearing exchanges between Alice and Trixie? whose wit and charm added a layer of depth to the show's zany escapades. Ah, but don't let your memory be confined to mere words on a page. Close your eyes for a moment and let the echo of Norton's iconic phrase, Hey, Ralphie boy, resound in your mind, evoking a chorus of laughter that fills the air like a timeless melody. And now, my fellow traveler through the corridors of television history, as we embark on a journey to uncover the hidden treasures and whimsical anecdotes that surround the honeymooners. Let us delve into a realm where behind the scenes tales and curious tidbits await our eager exploration. From the show's humble beginnings to its enduring legacy, each fact we unearth adds a new layer of appreciation to the masterpiece that is the honeymooners. So, without further ado, let us draw back the curtain on this captivating narrative revealing the stories that danced behind the camera and the moments that left an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers. For within these tales lie the threads that wove together the tapestry of a show that continues to shine brightly, even in the ever-evolving landscape of entertainment. And now, my friend, prepare to be regaled with the intriguing insights and unexpected revelations about the Honeymooners, each one a piece of the puzzle that completes the picture of this beloved classic. As we set forth on this journey of discovery, remember the laughter, the camaraderie, and the unmistakable charm that first drew you into the embrace of this extraordinary series. The Honeymooners, a classic 1955 TV series, emerged as a sitcom treasure that showcased the everyday struggles and humor of working class life. Created by Jackie Gleason, this show originated from a recurring sketch on The Jackie Gleason Show. The series revolves around the antics of Ralph Cramden, a boisterous bus driver, and his loyal friend Ed Norton, a sewer worker, both residing in Brooklyn. The iconic characters of Ralph and Ed, brought to life by Jackie Gleason and Art Carney, exuded a genuine camaraderie, navigating their respective jobs, marriages, and aspirations. Their unique style lay in the witty banter, slapstick comedy, and relatable domestic conflicts that illuminated the challenges of blue-collar existence. With its distinct blend of situational comedy and heartfelt moments, The Honeymooners captured the essence of post-war America and resonated with audiences across generations. The show's catchphrases and memorable scenes became cultural touchstones, influencing subsequent TV comedies. Its impact on popular culture endured, shaping the comedic landscape and setting a benchmark for character-driven storytelling. Random facts about the show, Audrey Meadows, who portrayed Alice Cramden, was not the original choice but eventually became an integral part of the cast. The famous line, one of these days, Alice, pow, right in the kisser, became synonymous with Ralph's frustration. The show's apartment set was minimalistic, focusing on character interactions rather than elaborate sets. Despite running for just one season of 39 episodes, The Honeymooners left an indelible mark on television history. Jackie Gleason's iconic portrayal of Ralph Cramden in the 1955 TV series The Honeymooners nearly took a different turn. Initially slated to be a police officer, Gleason's keen instincts led him to veto this idea, deeming the authoritative role ill-fitting for Ralph's character. A stroke of brilliance that paved the way for the timeless comedic dynamic we know today. Interestingly, Gleason's creative ingenuity didn't stop there. When the cartoon sensation The Flintstones burst onto the scene in 1960, bearing uncanny resemblances to the Honeymooners, Gleason contemplated legal action against Hanna-Barbera. 
His attorney's sage advice, however, prevented a legal clash. With a wry reminder, do you really want to be remembered by history as the man who killed Fred Flintstone? A quip that not only preserved his legacy, but also underscored the cultural impact of the honeymooners. Behind the scenes, the casting of Alice proved to be a captivating tale in itself. Hurt Kelton's departure due to health concerns prompted a quest for a suitable replacement. Audrey Meadows, initially dismissed by Gleason as too young and pretty for the role, showcased her determination. Presenting herself unvarnished and unassuming in photographs, Meadows convinced Gleason that her humor and authenticity were perfect for Alice, a decision that immortalized her as an integral part of the show's success. A honeymooners journeyed through these intriguing twists, solidifying its place in television history. Its evolution from policing to punchlines, from potential legal battles to enduring camaraderie, exemplifies the indelible mark left by the show. A reminder that the smallest decisions can mold cultural touchstones, shaping our laughter and memories for generations. Honeymooners' artistic ad lib, Ed Norton's signature move in the realm of classic television, where scripted lines reign supreme. A timeless gem emerged in 1955, The Honeymooners. Amidst the uproarious escapades of Ralph Cramden and his comedic cohort, Ed Norton, a subtle yet distinctive gesture took center stage. Art Carney, the mastermind behind Norton's quirky persona, introduced an elaborate signature ritual that has etched itself into the annals of TV history. The intricate procedure, a mesmerizing symphony of pen twirls, contorted facial expressions, and gravity-defying hand gestures, became Norton's calling card whenever a signature was required. Surprisingly, this signature flourish was no product of meticulous planning. Rather, it sprung forth as an ad lib from Carney's ingenious mind. The genesis of Norton's signature ritual finds its roots in Carney's own familial reminiscences. He drew inspiration from his father's peculiar signing routine, a carefully choreographed act reserved for his school report card. Carney's knack for turning personal anecdotes into comedic gold transformed Norton's signature into an enduring emblem of the character's idiosyncrasy. As the series unfolded, Norton's signature move resonated with viewers, endearing them to his whimsical charm. An emblem of unspoken camaraderie between generations, the ad lib turned masterstroke added an extra layer of authenticity to the timeless camaraderie between Ralph and Norton. The legacy of this serendipitous improvisation lives on. Ed Norton's signature procedure, a testament to the power of spontaneity and real-life inspiration, remains a beloved emblem of the honeymooners, an eloquent reminder that the most indelible moments often emerge from the unscripted corners of creativity. So the next time you catch Ed Norton weaving his enchanting signature spell, remember the unassuming origins of this iconic gesture. It was a slice of Art Carney's personal history that transformed into an emblem of TV brilliance, etching itself into the collective memory of television enthusiasts. The Honeymooners, Gleason's theatrical TV triumph in 1955. Television screens across America flickered to life with a groundbreaking sitcom that brought the raucous humor of Brooklyn into living rooms. The Honeymooners, a gem of 1950s television, not only delivered belly laughs, but also reshaped the comedic landscape. Led by the incomparable Jackie Gleason, the show introduced a unique twist to the sitcom formula, drawing audiences into the energy of a live theatrical performance. Gleason, a seasoned stage performer, defied convention by embracing the allure of imperfection. As the show's visionary, he chose to forego the typical rehearsals and precise retakes that characterized early television. Instead, he gambled on the electricity of the moment, much like a Broadway play. Each episode of The Honeymooners unfolded before a live audience, capturing the raw, unpolished authenticity of a genuine theatrical experience. This daring approach wasn't without its quirks. Episodes brimmed with the unexpected, dropped lines, missed cues, and moments of delightful confusion. Gleason's audacious decision to forego perfection and embrace the essence of live performance endeared the show to audiences who found themselves swept up in the unscripted charms of Ralph. Alice, Ed, and Trixie. One standout element was Ralph Cramden's signature exclamation, bang, zoom. 
A nugget of trivia that adds to the show's allure. Every time Ralph let loose this explosive phrase, it was a product of Gleason's spontaneous genius. Surprisingly, these words never found a place within the scripts. They were a Gleason creation, a testament to the actor's vibrant improvisational spirit. The setting itself carried a personal touch. The apartment's address, 328 Chauncey Street, held a deep connection to Gleason's roots. This was the address of his childhood home in Bushwick, Brooklyn, although the show slyly anchored itself in Bensonhurst. Gleason's ingenious decision added a layer of authenticity, tapping into the heart of Brooklyn living that resonated with viewers far beyond the city limits. The Honeymooners emerged as a cultural touchstone, its enduring legacy rooted in Gleason's bold artistic choices. This television marvel reminds us that sometimes, it's the unscripted moments, the dropped lines, and the charming chaos that etch themselves into our memories. Each episode, a love letter to the unpredictable beauty of live performance, remains a testament to Gleason's brilliance and his audacious vision for television. So, as we revisit the timeless antics of Ralph and his gang, we're reminded of the brilliance that radiated from the small screen, an unfiltered burst of theatrical magic that forever changed the sitcom landscape. A resounding reminder that true art often thrives in the spaces between perfection, capturing the essence of human connection with every unscripted quirk. As we bid adieu to our journey through the nostalgic corridors of television history, we find ourselves enveloped in the timeless charm of The Honeymooners, a show that has etched its mark upon the tapestry of entertainment. Just as the characters Ralph and Alice dance their comedic ballet, you two have waltzed through the episodes, perhaps finding a reflection of your own quirks and joys in their hilarious escapades. The Honeymooners, a relic from the golden age of television, doesn't merely inhabit the black and white realms of the past. It resonates within the colorful spectrum of your own experiences. Maybe you've chuckled at Ralph's grandiose dreams, pondered the intricacies of domestic camaraderie like a modern philosopher, or even discovered shades of your own relationships in the endearing banter between Ralph and Alice. As the credits roll, we extend an invitation to you, a cherished connoisseur of laughter and wit, to share your treasured anecdotes, your most memorable moments, and your reflections on how The Honeymooners has etched its mark upon your heart. Whether it's a quiet chuckle at Ralph's schemes or a heartfelt connection to the timeless themes, your perspective adds another layer to this vibrant tapestry. Your voice, a symphony of personal memories, enriches the legacy of The Honeymooners. Like a hidden gem awaiting discovery, your thoughts deserve to shine in the spotlight, just as Ralph yearned for his moment in the sun. So, join us in this encore, where the spotlight is on you, the viewer turned critic, the admirer turned storyteller. As we lower the curtain on this tribute, we thank you for indulging in this journey through television history, for sharing your thoughts, and for allowing the honeymooners to bridge the gap between eras and generations. Your presence in this moment, your connection to this classic, is a testament to the enduring magic of storytelling and its ability to unite hearts across time. May the echoes of laughter and camaraderie continue to reverberate, reminding us that, like Ralph and Alice, we're all part of the grand human comedy. Your stories, your insights, and your passion are the true stars of this stage. With gratitude for your time and interest, 